No, no! Oh, my... <laughs> oh, I wish I had a flamethrower right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to Burn Brothers. My name is John Wayne, and we're back in the freaking world of Majora's Mask. I just killed a green-ass choo-choo, and now he's gonna visit the freaking choo-choo hell, and he's gonna live there for the rest of his freaking miserable existence. Do we feel bad about it? Absolutely not! Because that's not the type of people that I am. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know you're talking about George. I see you. All right, now we're going to go uh, to the north. And I will spare you the freaking boring journey all the way there because that would be a freaking long walk slash roll. Yeah, for real. All right, we have reached the freaking snowiness. You know what that means? That means my freaking nips are getting hard. They're already starting to cut through my damn shirt. Who is this? What? You don't know about the doggo? Well, uh, let me tell you all about him. He likes a big old juicy fat dick in the ass, see? You just gotta feed him that dick hard and he will freaking surrender and bow down until he's dead! See? I told you. That's all you gotta do. That's how you tame one. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly how I do it every time. That's an easy 50 freaking rupees, yo. Especially when we get a more powerful weapon, we can be doing freaking awesome damage. And you know what that means? Instant death. No, probably not instant, but hell, pretty damn quick. Jeez, I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Oh shit, it's, it's breaking ice. I broke the ice, finally. It's only been seven episodes. But now I've finally broken the ice, and now I can talk freely. Like I have actually... Now I'm normal, just me. I'm no longer worried about what others think. Now I've broken the ice. Da -da -da. Okay, where the freaking... Where the hell am I supposed to go? Okay, is, is this slippery? Yeah, it is. It's pretty slippery town, damn. Man, it's pretty quiet here, jeez. Talk about freaking creepy. And Mr. Spider here doesn't help the creepness either. Increases it actually, if you were uh, to ask me that question. And uh, if you were asking me what I'm supposed to do here, I would say blow that shit up. Blow it up all with bomb bombage. Newly bought bombs. Anything can be accomplished if you have enough rupees. That's what I always say, you know? You got enough money, you can really do anything. That it goes in this game and in real life, I suppose. Mountain village ahead, beware of the blizzards and deep snow. Gorons would be able to break snow boulders easily. Well, well, fuck me. I don't have any Goron friends. They don't like me. Just like I don't like freaking Dekus. I'm just kidding. I like Dekus. But everyone else here in this game doesn't... For some reason, the Deku clan is just outlawed. They're like a... They're like shunned. Mountain village. I would really hate to fall into that water, and why is that Goron sitting out here with no freaking clothes on? Is he crazy? Did you know it's like freaking th less than 30 degrees out here? Judging by the snow and the frozen water? You know it's, uh, less than- Whoa! Up here, up here! I am sorry to bother you from such a high place. But I am very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. Oh, it's so cold. I'm so very hungry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I just want to eat once more before I die up here. Something tough and hard to chew on. I cannot forget that flavor. Okay, so I bet he wants a big-ass rock. But not only just your normal rock. Uh-oh. Hold. Uh, plug your nose. Oh, oh God. That's, that is rank. That is just foul. That foul's pits are foul. I hope we freaking find some deodorant for that guy. Well, f that guy. You mean that guy's? There's freaking tons of them all over the place, and they're reeking up the whole world. Are we contributing to some kind of conspiracy? Is it the worldwide owl armpit stench takeover? <gasps> Is that what's really behind Majora's Mask? Is he doing all of this to lead us down the road? Night of the first day. 60 hours remain. Is he leading us down a road to freaking doomsday via stench? Because I know that toxic freaking smell could knock out a whole army. Ooh, that was a perfect kill, if you ask me. 
I would give that an A, I would say, in the terms of killage. You know, on the scale. I didn't get hit. He got annihilated rather quickly. Okay, these guys are dumb, and they can be killed with one single strike. Or just miss. See, right in the tail, that's where they don't like it. Mm-hmm. You give them one little slice of Rooney on the fucking behind, and they go down crying like a little baby all the way to hell where they belong. All right, you two, you're going to get the treatment, too. You know what? You're going to get the business as well. Have the business. Enjoy the business. See you next time. Probably not, though, because you'll never exist again. Oh, wait. Is this a game where we repeat the same days over and over again? Yes, it is. Oh, so he will exist again? Damn it. That sucks. I was counting on the... Uh, the other thing of happening, which is the, uh, not that. So, yeah. But, you know what? We can't always get what we want, can we? You need to get out of here, scrub. I don't want anything from you. I don't want to talk business with you right now. I don't have any money to spare. I need every last freaking dime I got. Uh-oh. Owlman. And weird shadow on the ground. <gasps> hoot hoot. We meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Well, it seems you have made strength to face the challenge of the deck, but, 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 but the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you will surely collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. Will you proceed? Yes. Hoot hoot, you are a child of Manistrix. Perhaps you do not have the strength of the Perhaps you will follow me and don't fall down. Is this guy insane? What does he expect me to do? And why is he molting all of a sudden? Is he dying? Does he have cancer? I hope not. That would be terrible. Oh, wow. They're, they're landing on something. It's almost as if there's a ledge there that cannot be seen with the naked eye. I have to have some other type of eye. Maybe the eye of truth? To see the truth about this place, maybe? Is that possible? Hoot! I've certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you're a as a princess. You must rely on your parents. This shrine going again. I am mine. Wow, that guy freaking started to collapse emotionally at the end there. I wonder what's bugging him. Oh, well, I don't really care. It's not my business. Hey, stop picking up freaking grass. I don't... I can have a sword here. Whoa, that's a lot of bombs. And I can't carry a single one of them. What a waste. Wonder what this bullshit could be. I hope it's something good that will help me and nothing boring. <gasps> it's a lens of truth. Oh my goodness, wow. I can see things that are invisible to the naked eye. The naked eye with its balls hanging out. Like, for everyone to see. This will allow you to see those balls. And you know what? That's what I love most. What? Am I supposed to be able to see that? Okay, so I guess the fucking Lens of Truth doesn't work for some reason, so that is a pretty, uh, shitty thing. Okay, so I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get back over here, but I could just, uh, honestly just fucking fly over there with the Song of Soaring. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna have to either try to fucking make do without it, if that's even possible. Or, fuck, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna try to make do without it, because I think I can actually do this without the having the sight of the truth. But as long as I have the weapon that actually activates it, I'm pretty sure I'm fine. I'm pretty sure it'll all work out just fine, but I'll meet you back over to the other side of that place, because that's where we need to be. Alright, well, let's see if we can actually see the thing that we're supposed to be able to see. Probably not. Wow, we can't. That's just great. Isn't that just awesome? Alright, just edited a picture of him right there. Looking dumb as fuck. Yep, that's him. Yep, that's... That's him. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you can truly see me, then follow behind me. Well, technically, I can't really see shit but your shadow, but through the power of the internet and editing, I can totally see who you are and what you're all about, you know? And, uh, judging by my memory bank, uh, I'm pretty sure I can follow the directions to be able to get my way through this. The only thing I'm fucking dreading is that climb up that, uh, you may or may not know what I'm talking about, but it's gonna be dreadful without the freaking lens of truth. It may be impossible, actually. Oh, fuck. 
if I can't do that, then I'm screwed, and this freaking whole thing is done. My my whole playthrough is ruined. I won't be able to continue. There's nothing I'll be able to do, for real. And I can imagine the stray fairies in the next uh, temple without the lens of truth. Oh, don't, 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 don't. I almost effed the P. Almost started effing the P without freaking permission. All right, where is he? Okay. Make sure I can freaking lock on. See the uh? See that freaking wolf house? Uh? Froze as fuck. Stay away from me. Hey, isn't there supposed to be a. F oh! Okay. So, in this version of Majora's Mask, Lens of Truth hides things and doesn't reveal shit. Isn't that awesome? Okay, well. Looks like I'm just gonna have to deal with it or give up, and I don't really want to give up, so I'll just do do my freaking best. That's all I can do. Well, this is gonna be tough right here. I think I'm gonna have to do some fucking editing because this is gonna take a while. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Don't let it be true. Don't let it be an actual thing that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is. It has to be done. Fuck me. What? That didn't work. Come on, stupid freaking glaciers. Don't be hating on me. Just let me climb you like a freaking bull riding bimbo drunk on a freaking Saturday night at a freaking rodeo. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, one of those. Let me be one of those for a little bit. And let me just pretend that these glaciers or the big ball that they're gonna ride and have fun and just they just wanna get fucked, you know? And that's fine, we can't judge them for that. It's their prerogative. But, you know, uh, it's not me. It's not me, it's probably not you either, but hey. We can acknowledge that it is, okay, now here is the fucking ill-fated moment. If you ever ask me, that's what I'll say. All right, somehow, I'm supposed to climb this ladder all the way up top. And it, it goes to the right and left in like a code. Like a certain way you have to go, yep. And if you uh, don't see where you're going, then you're going to fall off every time. Am I on the right path? Oh, looks like it. But do I know how far to go? No, absolutely not. Nope, see? And I'm fucked. God dang it. Alright, here we go. Fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh, I was so close. Damn it. No. No. <gasps> did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? I think I did. I think I'm pretty good. No! Fuck. Okay. Go left. No! No! Uh, <laughs> Why did this game have to do this to me? Why? Why? Yeah, just pull your pants up like you don't care, whatever. I don't, oh my gosh. Uh, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 26. So I'll, I'll go up 25. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be good for my last count. I'm gonna run out of magic. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay, that should be right. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Ah, fuck. 23, 24, I don't know. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're still up here. Okay. Okay. Uh. 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 Ah! Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ah! Well, we are in a pickle. 
definitely. <laughs> Ooh, this is rough. It's rough stuff. Damn it! Fuck! Are you kidding me, stupid fucking glacier ass bitch? This is absolutely insane. No, no! Oh, my. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a flamethrower right now. I think my mind is uh, almost completely fucking out of my head. It's gone. It's left the building. It's abandoned me. Oh my god. Did I, did I, did I, oh, yes! Oh, thank you, Jeebus. In your name we trust. You've got me up here. And I thank you, my dear. Wow, I feel about as insane as that Goron to the right of me shivering himself to death. Goron Graveyard. Hey, we can see you now! The soaring one said the one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmani the Third. The blood of proud Gorons runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping I could drive off a demon. He had been wreaking havoc on Goron Village. Then the blitzer at Snowhead blew me into the valley. And now, here I am. Now infuriating! As I am, I can only freaking watch as Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I cannot rest even though I am dead. So, you can use magic. Though Soaring One told me you could do it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. Well, since you begged so nicely, I guess I can do it. Uh, oh, I was gonna say something else, but I didn't. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. His last regret was that he couldn't be there for his people and save them from the cold. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. We got the thing! You got the Goron mask! This mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Blah 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 blah. 
for the Goron village. I have asked for your assistance. You know what? We're going to do our best to freaking heal your sorrows and do the best that we can to save everyone that you wanted to save. I couldn't do it. <laughs> ah! Damn! We are now buff as fuck. And you know what? I, I would say even <gasps> thick. Hell yeah. We are thick as fuck, buff as fuck, ready to tear some shit up. Next time on Majora's Mask, we're gonna do that. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You know, the things. They're all in the description. You know, the links are. You know, if you don't believe me, go ahead and check. You'll see them. You'll see them all there. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye!